my way to work. I'm hoping that you can see me okay. Um, I've got you on a like car tripod thing. Um, but I don't know if you can see me properly or not. I'm hoping that you can. I'm really hoping that you can, to be honest. Um, anyway, I'm on my way to work. It's Monday the 10th of January. I'm going to work. It takes me about half an hour to get to work, which is fine. Chris and I had our jabs on Saturday evening. And oh my gosh, my arm is in so much pain. Um, people had warned us that the booster jab is a bit worse than the others. Now the other two, we didn't really have any side effects. We had a bit of a sore arm and I felt a bit tired. <clears throat> but this booster jab, blimey, it literally wiped me out. Um, lot, you can hear me rev. <laughs> um, yeah, it wiped me out. So my arm is in so much pain, but pretty much straight away after my jab, my arm was sore. Chris's was all right. And then yesterday morning, I didn't sleep well Saturday night. Then yesterday morning I woke up and I was like, I can't even train because I can't lift my arm up. Um, and my session yesterday was an upper body session. So I had uh, RDLs, all over pullovers, um, shoulder press, and there was just no way. I then pretty much, after we had our walk in the morning, pretty much spent the whole day on the sofa napping because I was so tired. Um, I feel better than I did this, uh, yesterday. I feel better this morning, but my arm is still in a lot of pain. Um, so I'm hoping that throughout the day that will go away. I actually had my first posing session um, with my posing coach, Ali. I'll leave all of her details and links um, in the description box below. So she does both online and in-person posing sessions. She's based in Brighton. Um, so obviously that's quite far for me to get to, but I knew I wanted her as my posing coach. And so we did it online and we did it via WhatsApp. And honestly, she's she's amazing. She's so amazing. She competes herself. Um, I think she's literally competed for years um, since she was really, really young. I really like the session because she wanted you to know why you were doing something rather than just saying, this is what you need to do. She wanted you to feel it. She wanted you to know why. And she wanted to make sure that you could feel it and um, everything like that, which I thought was really good. She's given me some homework to do. Um, so my next posing session is with her on Saturday evening. Um, so yeah, I've got some homework to do and basically I just need to be practicing posing pretty much every day. Yeah, I wanted to sit down more about posing and stuff like that. Um, because I think it's something that is like so intimidating when you're a beginner. Um, but I think that'll be another video. Obviously, I didn't get to catch up with you today at lunch, but on my lunch break, I did go for a walk. Uh, so I went and got some paracetamol because this jab, honestly, has just made me feel quite fluey. I feel a lot better now, but um, I felt really achy earlier. I'm out literally driving home, I'm gonna get in, have some dinner we're having chicken and potato um so it's a good pre-workout meal and then we're going to be heading to the gym so i've got legs today normally i don't train on a monday um i've got legs today i've then got cardio i've got two 20, 20 minute sessions of cardio to do um so i'm going to basically see how i feel after legs because cardio after legs is not ideal um ever <laughs> doesn't feel good ever um, and I struggle with not tripping up the stairs anyway, so yeah, we'll see how I feel or I might leave cardio for another day um, But then I've got posing to do which I will show you as well as a workout So yeah, that's gonna be Intense, but needs to be done because I want to be on that stage feeling like I can just get into um, the pose really really quickly basically You're blurry. 
it needs to find you. I'm now gonna get ready for the gym. Um, I'm also gonna tidy our room so it is really cozy when we come back in from the gym and we just feel like we can get in and relaxed. For me, that's just so important. Um, so yeah, I like to make the effort to do that. So let's have a look at the gym fit that we're gonna go with. I've already picked the sports bra. I kind of wanted to go with shorts. I like to wear shorts on a leg day. I might just go with these black ones. Oh god, I've broke the drawer. Um, then this is all my sports bras. Which I've got quite a lot of. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with what I've got out and then probably tuck on a an oversized t-shirt over the top. So I'll show you that. Yeah, this is the fit I'm going with. So the black H&M shorts and Reebok sports bra. Then I'm just going to chuck an oversized t-shirt over the top of this. Um, I think it is leg day. I like to wear an oversized t-shirt. Um, and yeah, I find that most comfortable because I feel bloated in the evenings. Because when I do evening training, I've obviously eaten all but one meal. Um, but then I also want something that I can see my shapes um in when i'm posing so that is what we're gonna go with i'll show you what it looks like when it's on
gym it is nine o'clock um i'm gonna hop in the shower and then have post-workout which is 100 grams or 110 grams of cocoa pops um and then we're just gonna chill before going to bed because then we are up tomorrow for work <laughs> the session was really good um had to adjust a few things because it was just really busy in the gym so we switched out the smith squat for the hack squat um so just getting used to that movement pattern again but that was really good i'm looking forward to doing that i think we're going to keep that in now for january um which will be good to progress on there um my split squats weren't that great um normally they're not my last exercise so when i got to them and they were my last exercise today because of having to switch stuff around um i could just feel it in my back and it just didn't feel comfortable and i'm not one that's gonna push that um i always think that you need to respect the weights um and respect your body um to know when to pull back and you know not push it because i could push it cause a real injury and then be out um so yeah it was a really really good session thank you for coming along with me today i hope it all makes sense i hope you've enjoyed it um i'm literally gonna get in the shower get myself sorted for tomorrow have post-workout um and then head to bed and i'm very much looking forward to it this is why as well because the bedroom looks so cozy and that's when i give myself a pat on the back because i made it cozy before i went out it's the little things in life guys it's the little things um but also thank you so much for all of the support that i've been getting um on my videos and through Instagram and also um, in person as well. I, I really, really appreciate it. It's really nerve wracking putting yourself out there. Um, but I love it. I love doing this. And I guess I worry that it comes across that maybe I'm stuck up or arrogant or I don't know. Just I worry about it. Um, and that's not, that's not how I want to come across um, in the slightest. I just want to share this journey with you because I've loved watching them for years and years and years and the fact that I am doing it myself now actually makes me feel a bit emotional. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really, really appreciate the lovely kind comments um, and just the support. It's just been so nice. Like hearing people say that they're excited to see the journey and people that I've never, I've never met before, which blows my mind. Um, 
taken time out of their day to watch my videos and to comment on them as well to say that they're excited to watch the journey um it's just really amazing so thank you um i hope you have a lovely week um and i will catch up with you soon <laughs>